Wait, you just fly off? Oh. Shoo you. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Mm. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Lap pillow, please. If we get memories of our twin, um, I swear. Ooh. Oh, is this where we get the look? Okay, well, I guess it's nap time, everybody. Ain't no way. Paimon on the ground is not something I thought I'd see. Paimon not floating is crazy. Shenyun was watching us this whole time, wasn't she? Oh. Wait, hello? Wait, was she able to- wait, she learned that very quickly, what? No, this is a dream, isn't it? <gasps> they actually showed our twin! Ain't no way! I always believed we would see each other again. That our days of separation would finally end. This was from Cloud Retainer Story? I thought that would be a lantern right thing. Me. What? That's crazy. I was not expecting this. It is crying time. If only things could stay this way. Lumi crying. A nightmare? Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was it pleasant. It was a good dream. It's just... I'm glad so much dialogue. You weren't ready to wake up. Huh? This is so sad. Oh, now we get the Eloquent Disney princess one moment. May be. Words of comfort are not one strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, Whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is the head always pat. here for you. Hey, no way! After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. <laughs> Bruh, she went from mommy to just respectable mom. Hey, no way. Yo, Paimon is just a snort. <laughs> Drake, you completely ruined the moment, Paimon. Bruh. Bruh. Of course. Why are we POVing Paimon? Hey, Nightmare. Was Paimon sleeping just now? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, Paimon wasn't talking to you. Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. Mm-hmm. Madam Adeptus? Oh, shoot you! You're awake! How do you feel? 
Man, I... that was such a good cutscene, and they ruined it with Paimon. <laughs> a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday, <coughs> so I don't feel so sad anymore. Madam Adeptus? That was crazy. Could I, uh, ask oh, you something? Man. Would you... And she got another disciple? disciple? Oh. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? I want to be just like my grandma. I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. Well, I guess she continues but to get more kids. And they're all daughters, mistake, too. I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day, I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you undies blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. And now, Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. Lonely. No, uh, I mean, Master. I chew you. Are you sure about this? Paimon's I mean, she's got like nowhere else to go. Secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. <laughs> That's true, though. If you join them, you'll never enjoy One Min Restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. I don't think that's true. <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities well, are quite tax, irrelevant. How? Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? I mean, we provide them to her. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Hey, she is moving Shu to Liyue Harbor. Shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Let's go. Whoa, you're leaving Mount Outsong? Well, yeah, she's lonely AF. One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> one could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Why are you all so silent? You're just lonely. Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So, does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? Hey, date time? Let's go. Paimon. Hm. One has so precious good. little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. She didn't say no. We in one it. will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. Two days, that's quick. One has quick. some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Oh? Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Uh, damn, she rich too? Seems like you've really thought of everything. I want to see her place. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense somnium mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. 
It might help you find Paimon a new got more Riz than Ace. Awesome! Thanks, I think I think Ace needs to take Paimon as a as hey, a. Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we tell him what we found out? 